and then, uh, hmm. Okay, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to go through here. There should be a door that leads into there. I hope. Uh, not from here. Ah, fuck it. There is, it's not like there's anything important there anyway. So, ladies and gentlemen. You see this area? You see all this? This sounds like a boss. This looks like a boss area, right? Well, let's go through the door and uh, find out. Hey, Barrett. How's Cloud doing? Sorry for asking a simple well, question. Lucky here. We got us a boy scout. He must be the one who mucked up my operation at the morgue. Get rid of him, Barrett. Oh, that's gonna be a pleasure. See, he is Barrett from uh, Final Fantasy VII. God damn. Alright. Uh, hold on. Just gonna cloak. Uh... Oh, what? oh fuck! Great start, Candy. Great start. Oh god damn it! Okay, uh, I can just skip. Okay, Barrett, uh, you continue shooting where I disappeared and uh, I'm just gonna... Fuck! Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, you're, you're not happy with me. Just, just leave me alone, goddamn. Hey, how you doing? Alright, so, uh, normally you would uh, need to, uh, well... Have to like keep shooting him. Up. Oh, what the fuck? Shoot. Uh, you would have to need to keep shooting him and uh, you know do uh, all those uh, uh, mundane stuff, which wasn't really. Up. Oh. Shh. Did stop it. I'm trying to explain stuff here, Barrett. Do you mind? <clears throat> anyway, in the regular version, you just. Uh, couldn't really deal with the bosses any other way than just dra drag out a weapon and uh, shoot them. In here though, you actually have a few uh, options. Okay. The Barret, please. Trying to do things here. Trying to uh, plan your demise, so do you mind? Access granted. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think I want to open the doors, deactivate those, and uh, and there is another thing that I want to be able to do. Uh, fuck, this is not the, this is not what I wanted to be. Uh, hold on, let me just uh, rearrange uh, some. Things here. I very much prefer you to be free, so you can be six. There we go. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, where is Barrett? Where is Barrett, my main man? There is Barrett, my main man. Uh -huh. Okay, so there's the door I need to go through, and uh, the good thing that he's only focused there, because uh, I want to be able to get uh, over here. Uh, hopefully he doesn't decide to uh, walk over here. Just good. Continue walking here through there. Uh, silly man. Uh, hmm. The problem is he's now in the area where I actually want to be able to go through, so... Uh, we're gonna try to suck around him. Just kinda hoping that he won't uh, detect me. Wait, do I have a practice point? 
No, I don't. Of course not. Why would I? Yeah, have a practice uh, at that point. Uh, because there's a certain thing I want to be able to do here uh, against him. Which is if I can get access to uh, uh, this thing. I'm just gonna do that. And uh, what the hell? Fuck! There are supposed to be uh, your turrets. Oh, here they are! Here they are! Lovely, so lovely. Let me just uh, let me just go and place them uh, in a good spot here. Let me just place the first one there, and let me take this one and uh, the the place this one. No, damn it! I moved that one. Don't worry, I can fix that. There we go. Moving through here. Wait, do I even have that upgrade? I don't think I have that upgrade where I can activate the turrets. Hold on, hold on, we will know in a moment. We will know in a moment. Fuck! Well, gotta have to do this the old fashioned way. Knew that I shouldn't. Wait! Hey, Barrett! Boy, do I have a surprise for you! Good, good. What? What close to that? Okay, okay, Barrett. Let's cool down here a little bit. Let's let's just take things easy. Let's just take things easy. Okay. So we're gonna have to take care of him the old-fashioned way. And I didn't really want to take care of him the old-fashioned way, but uh, uh, I have to do it. Barrett, stop throwing your grenades uh, close to me. Yeah! <sighs> I, apol I apologize for the lack of good commentary there, but. Uh, Don't die on me yet. No. This Boy Scout's got a few questions to ask. Your leader, the one who called you Barrett. Who is he? Why is FEMA sending you after Seraph Industries? FEMA? <laughs> you think FEMA gives a rat's ass about some rinky-dink biotech corporation's company secrets? <laughs> you got worse enemies than FEMA. Yeah, like who? Who? Get to Shanghai. Hang shot court gardens. <laughs> Penthouse. Tell them... <coughs> Tell him. Tell him Baron sent you straight to hell. Jensen, what's going on down there? Those soldiers just stick out like you wouldn't believe. <coughs> they see you. No, I was flying guard in case it got hot. You all right? I'm fine. Patch me to Seraph. I'm getting you out of here first. Get to the LZ. I'll pick you up there. 
Okay. Now that things aren't as hectic, I might be able to explain uh, what I was trying to do. So, what I was trying to do was, uh, as you saw, I opened the door to here. So that I could go, grab these turrets, and uh, go in here and access this computer to use them. Unfortunately, uh, let's see, I needed to have bought this thing in order to do that. That to be able to return the turrets against him. Because the, it is so good to have to just st activate this turret, run around the here, just run around here, but just go, ah, Barrett, I'm here. Just, and then run back here, activate them, and then they will just start blasting him until he's dead. Too bad I won't, wouldn't be able to do that now, but hey, what is a can let let's play without some failures? Uh -huh. Anyway, we're done now with uh, Highland Park, and we got leads on where uh, there are... Uh, that is not, this is not the way out. I should have checked the way marker. God damn it, candy. Or if we still have a practice kit, uh, the new new what? The, hmm. I'm just gonna buy the last level of uh, hacking stuff because this way I will be able to not have to care. Why is the boss music echoing? Oh, the boss music might have activated because I left the area and then came back. That might be it. Silly me. Uh... Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Awkward elevator ride. And uh, take a look at this, guys. Take a look at this. Take a look at where we end the... the going on. Yep, we are back to where we started. This door led us, would have led us all the way to uh, the boss area, but nah. This door only exists so that I have a quick way out. The, the, let me just check something real quick. Okay. So, uh, we are going, here's what we're going to do. We're going to return to South Industry, do whatever we need to do, uh, go to back, here, and then we're going to actually go to the next, yeah, uh, take us back to South Industries. the hub That's area soon, of the game. Strap in and hold on. <laughs> Alright, so that was Highland Park, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Should be able to uh, cut this into two videos. Yes, but uh, the I'm. I'm gonna tell you this right now, and uh, the game will actually give you a warning. Yeah, this is the last. This is your final chance to, to finish you. up any office. side quest that you have okay, here. Francis, any. But I have to debrief Sarah first. I suppose you could, or you could hear what I have to say and see if that doesn't change things. Pritchard out. Alright, so uh, we're gonna meet Pritchard first because that will lay any moles to open up a dialogue with Serif, and then we're gonna now, um, and then we're gonna have the dialogue that we actually are going to have with Serif. So that I doing two birds in one stone. Uh, what was I said for? Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, uh, I was trying to say that uh, this is your final chance to do any side quest uh, that you need to do before you finish up uh, the main quest here and move on to the second hub area of the game. Because otherwise, you will have lost those forever. What do you want? As much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. Hey, Prishat, how are you doing? That signal you shut down in DRV territory. It's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. You've told Sarah? See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen, and this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created it specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, and I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access and was streaming a lot of data through it shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you. Whoa! Yeah, this is really something we need to talk uh, to our uh, boss about, because goddamn. Because that would mean that he would be partially responsible for the attack, since uh, the attackers gained information about uh, what happened in the company in some way. So we gotta go in there, and we're gonna talk to him about it. Excuse me. And Mr. he is going to fess Jensen, up. Jensen, isn't it? What Sir, the hell? you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. Sure. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident. <coughs> Isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But uh, sorry, had a little coughing here. Facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. Are you trying to... Are you trying to be psychological with me here? Because it seems I like you want... You actually Mr. seeking to trigger something within me, you asshole. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna question you, because what are you doing here? You are in the I'm heart of the enemy territory, so to speak. What the fuck what you are you doing here? By coming here tonight? I would think that would be obvious. Your company has been viciously targeted. The violence and bloodshed that's occurred, it, it must be stopped. But I'm afraid it won't be until men of wisdom and understanding come to an agreement. About what? About the future, Mr. Jensen. This enhancement technology threatens to change the course of human evolution, to redefine what it even means to be human. Do you think governments can afford to let that go unregulated? You can't stop progress, Mr. Taggart. Perhaps not. But neither can we afford to sit by and watch it happen on its own. Not when we have the ability, the collective will, and foresight to influence it. I see. Thank you for illuminating me. Anytime. You prick. So, yeah. This guy is the face of the whole pure of the whole purist thing. Even though he does not want anything to do with the purist who actually does the attacks or such thing, he is in one way responsible for those attacks, since well, he 
doesn't really actually do anything to control them and just say, well, I'm sad about the attacks, but they are not my fault. Hoop -a -doop -a -doop. But what the fuck are you inspired them? Inspired them to not do your attacks. God damn. Okay, so I'm gonna drop a save point here because uh, we're gonna have a little bit of a talking showdown with uh, David Seraph sure. here. Did you set up a private access? As you see I here. the company firewall right before you hired me. Hey, <laughs> what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh, I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now, but he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. Man, he is really wanted to deflect this. Uh, I think I'm gonna refocus. Refocus actually has uh, that worked breach uh, is responsible for me here. Every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. Come on. Yes! But there's something you're not getting here, Adam. Business is war. With no clear battle, yes. no rules to keep our enemies honest. Look at that frustration level. I'm the commander in chief, and I have to be ready for anything, and I will do anything to ensure that I am. Now, I hired you because I needed a general I could trust, one who knows how to obey orders. Why should I have to obey order if you are the cause of the problems we had? Boss, I think we're getting sidetracked. Uh, I think we're focused on actually work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need yeah, to know how yeah, badly yeah. we've been compromised. I need to know what was in that data stream in case our enemies accessed it. No, Adam. I am not getting sidetracked. Now, I'm trying to give you a message, but apparently you can't take a hint. Damn it! You disappoint me, son. <sighs> I should have probably gone with Defended. Oh fuck, oh fuck. I realize you lost more than most of us that day. But I can't have you overreacting like this. Questioning me about things that don't even matter. Overreacting? Megan believed in you. Can't you just leave it at that? Megan? Oh, you motherfucker. Boss, what does Megan have to do with any of this? I thought we were discussing a security breach. We were. She, she doesn't. I mean, Adam, you're missing the point. The data I streamed. Okay, I want that to go up now. That sounds like something that would go up. It's just a routine, fact yes. check that sprang from one of our discussions. The kind of check I have to run quite often around here, believe it or not. Now, if somebody backtraces the transmission and gets a look at it, ah. pretty much Delta will know what to do with it. Trust me, we're fine. All right, let's see here. I would like nothing better than to trust you with this. Uh, let's just try refocus again. I still believe in this. You've handled this entire conversation so far. Makes me think that it's you who isn't trusting me. Why, boss? What is it you're so afraid to tell me? Adam, of course I trust Come you. Come on, please, son. please. And it's not that I'm afraid to tell you the truth. It's just that... Yes! Honestly? Bring me the goods. I'm afraid you'll take... Bring me the goods. Way. All right. Look. 
The truth is... Oh, really now? I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator. Someone who can run covert background checks on people. Potential new recruits like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look, I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. Okay. So, that was a lot of shit that, uh, that is happening here. So apparently, uh, Seraph and this uh, private investigator find stuff out about Adam that made them shake in the boots. So we're gonna go and I'm gonna check through the files on our computer first because I'm a little bit paranoid and I want to do this before I talk to Seraph again. And after you look through the files, I think there's a conversation that will be triggered with uh, Pritchard. The, not really sure, but uh, that's just... Look at it anyway. There we go. Uh, let's see here. I have a friend at the Genevieve lab from the test of record like you asked. Does your subject know that neither of, neither of his parents were or his birth parents? That surprised me. The mother was sterile according to those old medical records I dug up. So he's carry carry non no common no phenotypes either. Alright. Uh, Margie Jensen, Arthur Jensen, and Adam Jensen. Genetic code. The test. Uh -huh. Okay, so we know that Adam was adopted. Two. Good princess. Uh, Brett, it was an by Philip Baxter, one of the Marshall Hunter Pass, pretty much fast. Arthur Jensen had enough connection for this all. The Death of Storm, but his turn security console to have family's ghost. Where he couldn't hide the much. For a period of eight years, Arthur relied on the insurance policy of his temple employer, White the Helix Labs, to pay for his white medication. She was on antidepressants and 14. Got them. And irregular. My parents not only found employment with Los Angeles State Invisible. Here's the thing. One minute Adam does exist. Exist. And the next day chances have to set for bouncing a healthy five year old. That's when they pulled the vanishing act. So on a hunch, I sniffed around some more and sure enough, the Jensen's had tried adopting kids from several Michigan agencies. My mom, she has the unfit as parent. Next thing you know, they have Adam. There's no real trail saying how he was placed in their hands. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Jensen's parents got them uh, through Helix uh, lab, as far as we know now. And team, I'm just thinking. Sounds like doesn't. Paint a pretty picture. Major problem for 40 pictures, a discord for the chain of command, energy management, issue and potential PDSD. What is this? Here's the thing. When you hired me, you said you wanted me to read between lines. Here it is. The relation reads my fiction, I think it pissed off superior. Okay, what Wow. So apparently a superior at the, the SWAT unit, there was a goddamn prick. Okay, so that's apparently Athena all of them. You spoke to so Sarah. now we should be meeting Pritchard when we walk out of like here. Idiots? I'm handling it. You can imagine there we how go. relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Sarah spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride talking. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? I'm pretty sure I didn't. <laughs> so yeah, by doing all of that, you actually uh, open up a uh, side quest uh, later on in the game. And this side quest, you won't be doing this side quest until way later in the game, so... Uh, yeah, don't get your hopes up for uh, seeing me doing it uh, closely and... 
Okay, kids, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to do a thing here. Do you mind? Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport. And of course, I don't mind. Stupid I've set ass up a kids. false flag routing, which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China. What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this. Trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. What the? Frank was monitoring. What is the wrong with day. the camera angles? So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development, self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. I, uh, oh, no, I think I didn't uh, use that practice. No, I didn't. Uh, okay, uh, boss. Punch through wall, and this is recall compensation. Don't really need that. Uh, do I want the battery or the cloaking? I think I want... Wait, uh... You know what? I'm gonna save up that, uh... Prax oh no, we're going to a new hub area, which means I can actually going to be able to buy uh, two Praxis kits. So I'm gonna buy an up buy upgrade for the cloak. And then the two Praxis uh, kit points that I can buy in the new hub area will enable me to uh, buy the reflex booster which is going to be very hel helpful in certain situations so yeah 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 and i'm going to tell you guys once again this is your final chance to finish up any side quest that you have uh, in this place once you leave this place with Farah, you will not be able to finish up any of those side quests. That I'm telling this multiple times just to make you guys realize this. And I don't know if the game, I don't know if the game actually warns you or not, but uh, used to live there. I spent three, maybe four years working in the upper city, and most of my nights having fun in the lower one. You ready to go? All right. Yeah, it says here. Uh, warning: unfinished side quests will be cancelled if you leave. Are you sure you want to go? Well, since I've already done all the side quests that uh, I can, you mean the I'm ready. Don't worry, we'll be there before you know it. Climb in. Also, yeah, if. I might have been in such a hurry that I might have missed some things I could pick up in offices, offices and building and such thing, but nah, I'm fine. I have mo enough money to buy two Praxis, two uh, Praxis kit, and I got stuff that I can sell so I can make an even more money. So I'm good. Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Son of a bitch. I'm supposed to find answers in that. Hey, twice the scum and half the space. Hang on, we're going in. The address you got off that Merc, Hengsha Court Gardens. It's a bit of a walk from here in the Yuzhou district, but I figured it might be best not to drop you too close. In case Barrett only gave up the address, knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out.
Oh, one thing uh, I want to say, guys, I can't wait until I get my hands on Mankind, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. The, and uh, I'm recording uh, this uh, part uh, on uh, 6th of August, which which means that there is it's 17 uh, days until uh, Mankind Divider comes out. And I don't think I will be able to finish up uh, this LP before that comes out, but eh, that's fine. I can just fin finish this one up and then I can start Mankind Divider directly after. But hey, we are in a new hub area. Yeah, Hengsha Islands. So, so we're gonna have a bit of uh, fun here, doing some side quests, uh, exploring, and knocking some dudes out. It'll be a great time. So next time we will we will be doing all that and find out who lives in the Hengsha Island parks. See you guys then.